Right, so it's going to be a real short video because I have other stuff to do. Um, part of the reason why I'm ready right now. Um, but um, this is also a chance to test out this thing properly. This, this, uh, got this, actually, I got this a little while back, but um, come to find out, this thing only records in one channel. What is this? One channel, 16 bit at uh, 44,100 hertz. It's CD quality, but my webcam, which is actually too far away, so that's the reason why I got this, for it to be closer and to pick up my voice a bit better, although that was doing a perfect, a good job, a good enough job, I guess. That is actually two channel, 24 bit, uh, it is what, 192 or something like that? I don't know. Um, but it was, it's better than this, but this one's closer. Anyway, so the point of this video, the point of this video is, uh, ju just to warn as many of these drivers as possible, you all know me, Uber, three years in DC and all that, um, get out, as soon as you can, however the hell you can, just get out, if you gotta take two jobs, two part-time jobs on the weekends, do, do whatever you need to do, just get out, um, because... I see one of two things happening with this thing. Okay, either they're gonna fail sooner or later because um, stu it, it's just not gonna work. Uh, okay, so either they're going to fail because they're, they're, this whole going public thing does not work out the way they want. They can't, um, they can't uh, strong arm investors or or piss investors off the way they piss the drivers off right or they're gonna have to raise prices not necessarily saying that you're gonna get anything but they're gonna have to raise prices to appeal in to appeal to investors and uh piss the riders off and then they're gonna slow it down slow down take an uber or go back to the cabs or whatever right god forbid some other competition comes in and 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 that's going to be a problem not the competition but the rider is kind of saying nah, you know what screw this is i might as well go get a car for the amount of money i'm paying to take uber now uber or lyft I'm, I'm slamming on uber because that's what i did i only did lyft for like an aggregate of a week okay um and we all know that whole thing with uber and lyft from previous video uh, or the third thing is they're going to try to squeeze drivers even more and the drivers are just gonna up and say screw it you know what forget the maintenance and any of that it's just I uh, I'm just not making any money I've been out here for eight hours I did 20 rides and all I made was 30 bucks because they wouldn't squeeze them so much so plus you know of course the gun ride sharing i think in general uber more than anybody else is just pissing off the government it, it's just not good it's not good so my advice is to get out do whatever the hell you need to do now what am i doing i mean I'm, i mean i was already out I've, I've, I've been out for a little bit now um but what am i doing to make sure that i distance myself as much as possible so i don't need it I've, and, and you know I've already read through this book once already from cover to cover but I also read, read through it again um, and here's the point to that whoops right here Um, of course, nobody needs to know me or try to identify me any at all, but there we go. There's that. Um, now, of course, this is completion. This is not the actual cert, uh, which brings me to the next thing, which is right here. Actually, maybe I can just swing this around, which is right here at my cal. I love this thing. I got, I just decided on for the new years to get this thing and plan it out. Here's my resolution, 
my New Year's bit of resolution, right? Uh, but short of that, here's this thing. And the reason why I have not taken... Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, this thing's a little hard. I'm actually... You guys are getting motion sickness. Um, sorry, but I'm actually... Uh, the cord is getting stretched like to the max limit here. Um, yeah, but as you can see, next week uh, is a Networking Plus boot camp. And they told me over at MSM to take, to hold off taking the A plus cer um, certification test and do the networking plus class because the networking plus stuff helps with the A plus and vice versa. So there's that. Um, so to take that and my, my plan is on either the 29th or the 30th of this month to take just all three tests, 901, 220-901, 220-902, and then the networking plus is one test. Um, take that and and get both certs at the same time <coughs> Now uh, why am I ready because I need to go get the Networking plus version of this book Same exact look and everything, but it just says network plus on there um, So I can study ahead for next week's lessons because they give you this thing here and Yeah, it's okay. The information is there. It's all the same information, but I like my book better. My book, I think, works better for me, especially if you're able to um, read at read at your own speed. Because, and this is actually what got me in trouble in school. Not not in trouble is a bad thing, but made me made school K through twelve harder for me. Because what I've come to realize is that I am a person that likes to slow roast in information and it might take longer to get it but once I get it I never forget it no matter how long it's been uh, whereas K through 12 and really I think just life in general is more geared towards or more optimized for the people that can flash fry information they can remember it in the quick term but go ask them five years from now and they're looking at you like you're from another universe so that's the thing with me. Uh, so I am going to go get the Networking Plus version of the book that I like, and I am going to study ahead for next week's lessons to kind of help ensure that. And then from the 20th to the 27th, it's just studying, studying, notes, notes, notes. Like here. These dump sheets and stuff, just notes, notes ad infinitum from all the chapters. Just notes everywhere, right? Just notes, 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 just notes. Um, and there's actually three things in this. This is a three subject book. So in, after this, uh, after this, it's going to be the secure, after the A plus and network plus is going to be a month off because the next one that they do is like April, June. So by the end of June, I should also have the security plus the, and, and um, after going through that, they're trying to get me to the boot camp class, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, um, uh, th 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 that's, that's what I'm doing to kind of distance myself. And I figured with all three of those certs, current version of those certs, although the 1000 version is coming out in a couple months, so whatever, um, I figured I'll be able to find something. Something better, something better than what I have now. Um, I figured I'd be able to find something. And just be, point is to be as far away from Uber as possible. And then, yeah, okay, I'm 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 planning on going back to school at some point for cybersecurity, maybe. Um, maybe I might pick up a Linux Plus certification on the way, uh, but we'll see. I re I really want to switch over to Linux. I really want to properly master Linux and make Linux be my daily driver as opposed to Windows here, even though this Windows isn't so bad. Um, but I still, I still, I still want to do that. Anyway, point is, get out, get out. Sorry to go off on that long explanation, but just get out. Um, it, 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 I don't think I need to tell anybody that Uber is not worth it, that ride share in general is not worth it. And something is going to have to give and you don't want to be on this sinking ship. You do not want to be on the Titanic when it's going down. 
So, I mean, like I said, either they're going to have to raise prices and the riders aren't going to be happy because they're used to getting shit for free. Um, they're going to try to squeeze the drivers even more. And I don't know how the hell that's possible without it being, despite whatever you want to say about independent contractor and whatever, just being flat out illegal. Like, you know, it's just, 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 despite the laws, it's just without the government stepping in and saying, nah, nah, this isn't going to work. Um, or... Because they're trying to go through with this public IPO thing, and you know, and they and they by law, they can't be fucking around when it comes to shareholders by law. So, uh, fiduciary responsibility and all that business. So, my point is, get out. Because something with this entire ride sharing thing, and since Uber's the biggest um, midget in the room, um, Uber specifically. Something is gonna happen. Oh, and and oh my God, self-driving cars. So screw. It. No, 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 no. Go look at my other videos. Probably in this playlist, this Uber playlist, the video right behind this one, uh, just or 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 right in front of this one. That self-driving car crap is not coming anytime soon, despite what they told you. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Go ask any anybody that knows anything about computers, anything about computer technology. It is not anywhere near ready. So, um, and then of course, um, you can feel free to go look this up. There's a thing of um, that Chinese company that tried to compete with Tesla with their own stuff, or is supposed to, they'd like to. And their self-driving car shut down in the middle of rush hour traffic in, I think it was Beijing, uh, for over-the-air updates. Locked the person inside, uh, the people inside testing the thing, and then I guess maybe a reporter or something like that. Uh, so there's that. And then, of course, there's the thing with Tesla just recently, where essentially their system, their self-driving car system got hacked, not in that they went and broke in that thing into the matrix style with the brute force and whatnot, uh, and then and, and, and rainbow tables and whatever, but um, people were able, uh, the, these group of people were able to fool the sensors into thinking that something was there when it wasn't, and then it tried to swerve to avoid it and essentially swerved into oncoming traffic. This shit is not ready. And it will not be ready for a while. So for anybody who's thinking, oh, self-driving cars are going to save the day for Uber. No, no, it's not. Um, it's, and, and it definitely won't before this IPO thing happens. So um, if, if they're able to go through with it, maybe they're be, going to be forced to not go through with it. Because with that IPO comes the government up their ass even more than it's already trying to be. Uh, because... Again, you cannot be fucking around with investors' money. So there's that. Um, you know, this is not the stock market, okay? That they have a fiduciary responsibility. It's, so to the drivers, my brothers and sisters in arms, in the struggle for that surge, for that 2.5, <laughs> although that's boost days, those days are long gone, right? In the, in the struggle for that $10 surge for a three-minute ride, right? Because it's raining, it's pouring outside, and it's winter time or whatever, whatever it is. You know, you all know I'm, I'm speaking the, the, the rideshare lingo right now. So anybody who doesn't do it, don't worry about it. Think of it as like the military. They got their lingo in their different forces. So anybody outside of their outside of their world don't worry about it think of it as like that all the right share people they know what i'm talking about when i say stuff like this so uh just just get out do whatever you need to do um go to go to wherever you live go to that county's resource center and i mean if you don't i mean hell the reason why we were doing uber i think the reason why most people are doing uber is no, let me actually not say that because the ones that are doing it part-time, just a little extra money. Okay, fine. They don't need to because they have a main job. Okay. For you people, I'd still say go find another part-time job somewhere. But maybe it's the flexibility you're, 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 that's attracting you. You might not need the money, want the money, not need the money. Okay, fine. For those of you who are doing it full-time and who need the money and that's your source of income, 
at the very worst, go to whatever county you live in, in wherever, and try to find out what resources is there to, to, to help you. Because maybe you can get grant funding for something, you know, for some training in something. Do whatever you need to do. Just get out of this thing. Because right now, it's going at a million miles an hour, and you're right there at the bottom of the car, under the car, skirting, being drug, dragged on the ground, you know. So, that, I mean, that's I mean, that's pretty much it. Just get out. Get out as much, just get out as fast as you can. Um, do whatever you need to do, you know. Because um, I don't see this whole thing with rideshare ending well. Uh, it's, it, it, it's, I think that's the problem with this whole idea of, oh, we have to disrupt this and change that and whatever. You know, I mean, okay, things change. All right, fine, but you know, it's it, it. I'd like to interview, maybe not even so much cab drivers, but maybe the cab company, like whoever might be the higher up in the taxi industry, right, or whatever cab company in the taxi industry, and ask them. On the surface, it seems like rideshare, Uber, and Lyft is kicking your ass. However. Does it seem that way when it's really not? Like, are, like, does it seem like they're ahead now, but you know what's coming for them, which is the same thing that came for you, why you had had things the way you did for so long? Was it because you had no competition and you didn't care and you just, whatever, we can do whatever because we're the only game in town? Or did you, or maybe that plus, you saw the shit that Uber and Rideshare in general is running is gonna is going to run into the brick wall the uh, the 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 execution whatever you want to call it guillotine crucifixion that Rideshare is gonna go into. You saw that coming from way the hell back, and you knew that what they were doing was not going to work or else you would have done it a long time ago since you had the money and probably still do more or less have the money to um to do what uber did and you could have done it before then but you knew it wasn't going to work you know but maybe just these young idealistic types thinking oh hey we're gonna save the world through whatever you know and you're the old guy with the beard realizing <laughs> just looking on with steel stone eyes oh that's been tried Even better minds than you have tried and failed miserably and there's nothing new under the sun I had the same access to stuff you have so who knows who knows but for my fellow drivers get out Uber is not your problem rideshare is not your problem get the hell out uh, and, 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 and get as far away back as, 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 get as far away from it as possible to where you won't even need it, even for some little beer money, trick off money, whatever, whatever you spend your extra coins on. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, that's it. That, that, that is my only uh, suggestion, just get out as soon as possible and get as far away as possible as, 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 as best you can. Later.